Hello to all my friends out there. It's still hot in San Diego. These are my vintage Dr. Peeper sunglasses. This is the kind of stuff I scour thrift stores for. These are cute. These are like money in the bank, you guys. Some cute girl will buy these in a second when I'm willing to sell them. So now it is lunchtime. Okay, I found my little thing. It was in the back seat and I have some cutlery and stuff in here. So I went shopping at Grocery Outlet. Uh, you know, people who do car living videos, they don't feature food unless like they're cooking on camp stoves. So I spent $6.87 and I saved $11.35. But what I was shopping for is $1 items or 50 cent items because that are storable. So if I don't eat them today, if I don't eat them next month, you know, they're still gonna be good. So let's see what I bought. Okay, so it's lunchtime. So the first thing I bought was a package of, of tortillas for 99 cents. So this is a really good deal on this. And in my, um, and I will keep the rest at home. I'm, I'm making um, a burrito. And so if you're careful, you can do this stuff. So these were 99 cents, so that was a good deal. So the other day I bought this salsa for 99 cents and I really, really like it. And that's gonna taste good on my burrito. Easy to open. Yeah, if you have scissors. Not so easy if you don't have any scissors. I buy these for 99 cents. I would suggest these if, if you're gonna live in your car this uh i had this the other day with chips so i have a nice big box of salsa this stuff's can you guys see it and so what i do is i just use this thing like a cut uh kitchen counter that way if somehow it did Bill. God forbid it wouldn't be as bad. Then they had these black beans with crunch soups, but I'm going to make mine for 99 cents. I could, I, I will just save those for a snack. And see it as the flip top. So usually this kind of stuff. Good thing I opened it up outside. A lot of times the soup will be like coagulated. This is pretty soupy though, but that's fine. I want to create like um, one of those, uh, they have like, um, little uh surfaces that are like tables okay so let's see the rest of these are snacks i'll show them after the burrito if you buy your food it's it's going to be so much if you buy your food and prepare your food, it's going to be so much cheaper. This looks, this smells good already. So this is a success. These could be any kind of beans. These could be black beans. These could be um, pinto, I, yeah, um, refried beans. All right, so now, so as not to make a mess. So see, here's my burrito. Let me chase. That's good. Then, 
I think the thing to do with the salsa is to apply the salsa as you go, if you know it's good for you. Ooh, yummy, this looks good. So in time, you start getting, so the soup was a dollar, the salsa was a dollar. I'm gonna have plenty left later for, for, um, for chips and the, the tortillas, the flour tortillas were a dollar. And what I did is, that's good. What I did is I put a garbage bag on my seat in case, so far I haven't had any mishaps, but it's only a matter of time. So I'm living in my car, 7-Eleven. One block up the st street, we can dash in the 7-Eleven, um, but that's a better area and get a Coke. But right down here on 2nd Street, you can't get in the, the McDonald's. This is one of my better ones. The good markdown um, tortillas really help. So I've been watching all kinds of videos and I've been getting good ideas. I would like to see see what they eat on a daily basis. I'd say canned food's the best. Okay, so I've been watching uh, videos on uh, on car living and how to park ideas. This is good. And um, here's some I came up with. In California, people who live in like apartments, townhouses, or condos generally have more cars than parking places. So they park on the street. So if you can find one of these um, these areas where the residents park on the street, then you can be real stealthy and park on the street. I would suggest a different location every night. You're less likely to be, you know, if you're not a pest and you're not, you're just like pulling up, you get in your back seat real late and you sleep until the next morning, you're not even gonna be noticed. Uh, really good areas, though, have surveillance. <laughs> okay, so apartments where the residents generally pick on the street. Okay, vacant businesses. Not like grocery stores because, you know, they have surveillances. But vacant businesses that have parking in the back. Almost all the salons I worked had parking in the back. A lot of them did have surveillances. Okay, out here in the trolley. You, they have 24 hour a day parking, so you can park out there. It's not a really good area, but you know, it could be done. Okay, and then I wanted to make one mention, like places like Walgreens that are open 24 hours a day. If you locate the place where the, um, the employees park and you park there like late and you know, same thing, just there for sleeping. Okay, no, 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 no. Let me show you the snacks that I bought. I bought two of these um, granolas. They were two for a dollar. And what I think you can do on these is you can open them carefully and you can pour milk in them and you can eat them. So 50 cents each. I bought um, two meat sticks, 50 cents each. Those are good snacks and not too messy. I bought two candy bars. Um, how much were these candy bars? They were cheap for sure. So what I'm doing now, how can you lose your, you know, how can you lose stuff in such a small, I lost my receipt, you guys. Anyway, so these candy bars, I know they were no more than 50 cents or I wouldn't have bought them. I bought, these were, oh, here it is. No, here it isn't. This really bugs me because some of these things were really, really cheap. 
These were eight for a dollar, so I bought two. These are good snacks, not too messy. I bought, um, oh, these were really cheap too, like 25 cents, like little uh, fruit snacks. And that's it. Okay, you guys, please like, comment, and subscribe, and God bless you all.